Now to innovators, where we look at some of the groundbreaking innovations transforming the world. If the idea of putting a blind driver on the road sounds a little crazy to you, you're not alone. Even with perfect eyesight, people aren't great drivers. Over a million die in crashes every year. But robot inventor Dennis Hong says we can build a car for the blind that's safe and reliable. It's not a car that drives itself. It's something completely different. Sheila Dabarajan went to Virginia Tech to take it for a spin. This is really scary. Like, I can't see anything. I'm about to drive this 3,200 pound vehicle totally blind. The idea is that the car will see for me. When it wants me to turn left, I feel a buzz on my left hand. If it wants me to slow down, I feel vibrations down my back. We want to really show the world that the blind can really achieve most anything with just a little bit of help of technology. Meet Dennis Hong. Good morning. He's a robotics professor at Virginia Tech, an inventor of this car. I mean, this is about a person who can't see at all. At all, absolutely. So when we said that we're going to take on this challenge, everybody thought we were crazy. You know, even now sometimes we think we're crazy ourselves too. It sounds crazy. Yeah, it is. Hong started out working on a self-driving robot car for this million dollar race, held by the Defense Department's DARPA agency. Not long after, the National Federation for the Blind challenged him to build a car for blind drivers. That's good. And we thought, hey, we already have a fully autonomous car, we just put a blind person in it and we're done, right? It turns out that we're completely wrong. What is important to blind people is that we are able to participate fully in society on terms of equality. As head of the Blind Federation's research group, Mark Riccobano designed the challenge so blind people could actively drive the car. I want to be able to take charge of the vehicle if I need to. So Hong built a new kind of robot car. I truly believe that this car can be and will be an actual commercial product and the blind people will be driving on the roads. When this will happen, I do not know. Right now there are two research prototypes ready to drive. Those are really the eyes for the vehicles. So it figures out, oh, there's a car over here. So, the so front sensors, it. back sensors, GPS, the eyes, it takes all of that, mm -hmm. processes it in here, yes. and then can figure out what the road and the terrain is. That is correct. From miles away, if something goes wrong, I can hit this uh, button and it will bring the vehicle to a safe stop. So you're going to be ready to, to stop me? Uh, uh, unless you don't want me to. <laughs> <laughs> With constant signals buzzing on my fingers and then my back, I was quickly disoriented. So which way am I going right now? <laughs> it's for me to know and you're going to find out. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> wow. This is really hard. I think it's going to be a long time before profoundly sight impaired people are on the road operating vehicles along with regular traffic. Jim Meeks is editor in chief of Popular Mechanics and he sees value in developing the technology for sighted drivers. If we could apply some of that to all drivers, then we could make all drivers safer. Whether that means it's a good idea to put blind people on the road is another question. But to demonstrate what it can do for the blind, Riccobano drove Hong's vehicle at Daytona. This was a first. No blind person had ever driven a car like this publicly without a sighted chaperone. The experience was even more powerful than I imagined, and it really shattered any misconceptions I had about uh, what the limits were for blind people and really for my own future as a blind person. Mark, again, right. congratulations. Give me a hug. Hong says this technology is in everyone's future. You're driving and you're really tired and start to doze off. Then the car can detect that and warn the driver and wake him or her up. Yay! <laughs> How was it? Oh my god, that's really hard. But you did pretty good for the first time. No, I didn't. You know what the hardest thing was? Yep. There's a lot going on. Mm -hmm. like, there's just a lot. Like, you have to concentrate so hard. Yeah. Wow. But you did pretty good, you know, going around without... Except when I hit the curb almost. <laughs> <laughs> Happens to everybody. <laughs> Very brave there, Sheila, very brave. Now, in addition to the smart seat and gloves that gave Sheila signals, Hung also developed a piece of equipment that draws scenes and obstacles for blind drivers using pinpricks of compressed air.